Thank you. At the request, I was saying at the request of count, um, State Representative Lick Gardo, he informed me it's time for the announcement period, and we shall hold the announcements for the next 30 minutes. Uh, it seems like Councilman Coleman in the queue. Thank you, Mr. Speaker Pro Tem. <coughs> Uh, I'd like to uh, make two important announcements for the Hickory Hollow Antioch community. We're holding two important meetings. Well, actually, I'm holding one meeting. But uh, the first issue has to do with the meeting at the BZA on January the 6th at 1 p.m. I'm asking my neighbors to come out in support of uh, station number 35. It's something that's been on the book. We've had several meetings about it. So I would like my neighbors in the uh, Antioch area to please come out, show your support for our need to have uh, a fire station at Hobson Pike and Lake Walk uh, Drive. So please come out to the BZA. 1 p.m. January the 6th and uh, give me your support for the fire hall. The second meeting I'd like your uh, support on will be Tuesday, January the 11th at 6.30 p.m. at Mount V Elementary. And the nature of this meeting is to talk about our uh, elementary, our new elementary school that will be under construction. Uh, it gives some of the neighbors in the Summersfield subdivision some concern. So I would definitely like to make sure that you're aware of the meeting, that you come out, particularly the neighbors that live on Shackbart Drive and also the neighbors at uh, Old South Preserve because those two subdivisions will be impacted by the creation of our new school and our park on Hobson Pike and Murfreesboro Road. So again, I ask your indulgence and I ask that you come out and be supportive. Let me hear your concerns. The Planning Commission as well as officials from the school board will be there to uh, answer most of your questions. And thank you again, Mr. Speaker Pro Tem. Thank you, Councilman Coleman. <clears throat> Councilman Dominey. Thanks, Speaker Pro Tem. Residents of District 28, uh, we have a district town hall meeting scheduled Saturday. That's this coming Saturday, the 8th of January, from 10 a.m. to 12 noon at the South Police Precinct on Harding Place. That's 5101 Harding Place. And look forward to seeing everybody out. We're going to discuss, we'll have uh, Billy Biggs from the Metro Animal Control discussing what they're doing to address some of the uh, dogs running at large and working on some other departments to be there. But look forward to seeing everybody out there. Again, it's our district-wide quarterly town hall meeting. Look forward to seeing everybody. Again, from 10 a.m. in the morning till 12 noon. Look forward to seeing you there. We'll go out and have some lunch afterwards. Thank you, Councilman Dominic. Uh Councilman, State Representative Lick Gatto. Thank you, Ms. Pro Tem. Um, I stand to make an announcement tonight. It's a sad announcement, but I just wanted to uh, express my condolences for the family of uh, Oni Ponder. That was Phil Ponder's mom. She passed away recently down in Florida. Ms. Ponder was 112 years old. She was the oldest living uh, individual in Florida and I believe the seventh in the United States and I don't know what her rank was in the world but she was up in the I think the, maybe in the 40s so uh, it's this passing is sad but she lived a wonderful life and again uh, my condolences to uh, all of uh, Miss Ponder's uh, family thank you thank you Councilman Gardo Council Lady Moore yeah. Thank you, Chair. I just want to announce to the uh, neighbors in District 17 that the uh, annual community meeting for this month will be held and there will be a date forthcoming through their neighborhood associations or either by, uh, again, by email. Again, the uh, annual District 17 community meeting will be held this month. There has been a uh, scheduled conflict, but it will be held. Thank you, Chair. And thank you, Councilman Stanley. Thank you. I'd just like to announce the, uh, to the uh, citizens of District 14 between Stewart's Ferry Pike and Donaldson Pike, we're going to have a uh, community meeting on Thursday, January 13th from 7 to 9 p.m. at the Hermitage Police Precinct. The uh, police department will be addressing 
uh, increased security issues as well as I've invited uh, representatives from the Codes Administration, Public Works, and the MPO to address the widening that is needed of Stewart's Ferry Pike from two lanes to five lanes. It's a desperately needed project and we uh, need to move forward with that. So if you reside in the Colonial Village, Clover Bottom, Donaldson Heights, Donaldson Wood, Clover Hill, Twin Lawn, Hickory Bend, or Water Falls Park subdivisions, or if you reside in Hickory Place, Bianca Square, or Emory Place condominiums, or East Lake, Hickory Hill, Sycamore Villa, Stewart's Ferry apartments or Creekstone apartments, please attend this meeting and give your input and listen to the interaction that's provided at that meeting. It can be a beneficial meeting for everyone involved and I thank uh, you for this opportunity. Thank you, Councilman Stanley. Councilman Foster. Thank you, Mr. President. I need to make an announcement regarding my office hours for January. Because January 1st fell on Saturday, I had announced that I would move them to the 8th. Well, as it's turned out, we have the work session on the fairgrounds on the 8th. So I made the decision and posted a notice in the library where I usually meet with people that I would move my uh, time to the 15th forgetting that uh, the morning of the 15th is the time when we'll be inaugurating our new governor, and I plan to go to that. So uh, in, in spite of uh, what I've posted at the library at Edmondson Pike, which I'll be updating shortly, I'm actually going to hold my office hours from, th from 2 to 3 p.m. on Sunday, January the 16th. Uh, so if people want to come see me, the library will be open then, and I'll endeavor to be at my usual table and we'll be glad to speak with them. Thank you. Thank you, Councilman Foster. Okay. Council Lady Lalonde. Better cut you on, right? Thank you very much. I just wanted to make a discussion, or an announcement about a discussion of Hillsborough Village traffic and pedestrian issues on uh, a week from today, on January 11th, um, from 4 to 5.30 p.m. at the Belmont United Methodist Church, which is right there in the village in their community room. We'll be having a discussion of a new traffic study that was just completed that looks at traffic counts and potential solutions for some of the issues that face us um, in that part of the district in terms of traffic flow, traffic calming, pedestrian safety, et cetera. Really encourage people in District 18 and anybody really who is interested in those issues to come to that meeting again January 11th from 4 to 5.30 p.m. at the Belmont United Methodist Church. Thank you so much. Thank you, Council Lady Lalonde. Council Lady Langster. Thank you, uh, Mr. Mr. Chair. I'd like to say to everyone in the viewing audience and my colleagues here on the floor, Happy New Year. I hope everyone had a safe and looking forward to what 2011 has in store for us. Uh, at this time, I would like to stand, extend a real hearty welcome. I'm sure everybody will join me in welcoming the new interim president of Tennessee State University. Her name is Portia Holmes Shields, and she has already started to work. She arrived on the campus Monday. Uh, Dr. Shields' most important statement that I've heard her make so far in uh, the news media is that the students come first. And that's the reason why um, Tennessee State, as well as other institutions of higher learning, exists. It exists for students. And whether students are in uh, the band or athletics or, or in uh, the, the uh, in the play, uh, acting, drama, whatever, they are students first. And it's, I'm glad she's coming in with this kind of uh, attitude and um, to put it to work. We look forward to meeting with her personally and thank you again, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Council Lady. Council Lady Wilhoyt. Thank you, Speaker uh, Pro Tem. I just want to wish the viewing audience Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you, Council Lady Will Hart. Councilman Coleman, do you have another message? Are there any other 
announcements. Seeing no other announcement, the announcement period is now closed.